I believe that ADA sitting at the price of below 30 cents won't last forever. I think that in the future, when people take a look back in time, when they take a look back at right here, right now, I think a lot of people will say, wow, I can't believe ADA was once that low in price. That was so unbelievable. I think a lot of people will say that. And even though that isn't financial advice, I want to explain to everyone why I believe that ADA could very well shock the world during the next bull run. And reason number one is because I believe that Cardano is a fantastic layer one blockchain. Cardano is highly decentralized. I mean, if we take a look at it, right, Cardano has over 3,000 validators, which I think is very impressive. And now that I said that, you know, some of the Cardano haters out there, they may think, oh, you know, why is 3,000 impressive? But in actuality, it is very spectacular. And let me explain why that is the case. You know, for example, if we take a look at Avalanche, Avalanche has around 1,400 validators. You know, if we take a look at Solana, Solana has around 1,800. So really, when you think about it, Cardano, in terms of a number of validators, it has one of the highest amounts when compared to a number of other blockchains. And also on top of that, when it comes to ADA, ADA currently has over 2.5 million holders, which I think is very astonishing. And also, let's not forget, there's currently over 1,000 projects building on Cardano. Very shocking in my opinion. However, it doesn't end there because Cardano is 47,000 times more energy efficient than Bitcoin. So with that being said, I do believe that Cardano overall is fundamentally amazing. I believe that Cardano's native token called ADA is such a no-brainer pick for me. And how can it not be, right? When I take a look at ADA right now, it is down over 91% from its all-time high price. I mean, just imagine that. Something this amazing, yet this low in price. How can I not scoop it up? I am loving these low prices when it comes to ADA. A lot of people, they like to hate on low prices, but I actually love it. The way I view it is that the lower the price, the bigger the potential. And reason number two is because I believe that Cardano is heading in the right direction. You know, for example, as we all know, Cardano has an amazing ecosystem. And more specifically, if we take a look at Cardano, Cardano has amazing decentralized exchanges, gaming, and NFT projects that have been built on it already. And I think this right here is very amazing news for Cardano moving forward, because I do believe that decentralized exchanges, NFTs, and gaming have such a bright future ahead. And let me show you what I'm talking about. For example, if we take a look at NFTs, you know, the NFT market is expected to be worth $3.5 trillion by 2030. And also, if we take a look at blockchain gaming, you know, in the next five years, the blockchain gaming market is anticipated to be worth up to 117.5 billion dollars and last but not least when we take a look at decentralized exchanges you know as of March of 2023 the total spot trading of decentralized exchanges is actually over 94 billion dollars so overall with that being said in my opinion I do believe that decentralized exchanges NFTs and gaming have such a promising future ahead and I think that moving forward blockchains much like Cardano that have amazing decentralized exchanges NFT projects and blockchain gaming projects built on it will prosper in such a fantastic way and reason number three is because Cardano has an amazing staking ratio you know for example if we take a look at Cardano its current staking ratio is around 71 percent and now some of the cardano haters out there they may not think this is impressive but in reality it is something to behold cardano staking ratio is so high to the point that it's actually higher than avalanche polka dot phantom near and polygon which i think is very incredible a lot of people they often overlook cardano's staking ratio but in my opinion it's one of the best so in conclusion when i consider just how spectacular cardano is i really don't see why during the next bull run ada will have any issues reaching the price of $5. I really do believe that Cardano's native token ADA could very well do a 18x during the next bull run. I think ADA is that special. And now, I want to shift gears real quick and talk about some recent news about Cardano. And that is the fact that not too long ago, the SEC, when they sued Binance, they claimed that, you know, ADA, Solana, Mana, San, and a bunch of other cryptos are securities. And when that news came out, you know, a lot of people, they got spooked about ADA. They were saying, oh man, you know, is ADA done for? But for the people who are concerned by that, I just don't get it because personally I am not. And the reason why I am not is because let's say, right, if I buy ADA, it does not mean that I own any part of Cardano. That is not the case whatsoever. ADA, in my opinion, does not meet the definition of a security. It's much like XRP, right? You know, the SEC thinks that XRP is a security, but also when it comes to XRP, I also don't think it's a security. 
When I buy XRP, it does not mean that I own any part of Ripple. Both XRP and ADA, in my opinion, do not meet the definition of a security. And also, the SEC, they are just alleging that ADA is a security. You know, it doesn't mean that ADA is actually a security. It actually has to be proven. And that whole process, it's going to take a while. You know, it's going to take years. So I don't see why people are concerned by this. And also, on top of that, people are concerned that Robinhood is delisting ADA. But in my opinion, I just don't understand why. Think about this, right? ADA is listed in over 80 exchanges worldwide. Why are they concerned about Robinhood delisting ADA? Makes no sense. Again, right, there's over 80 exchanges and they're concerned that one is delisting ADA? Makes no sense. A lot of other cryptos out there that haven't even been listed on a major exchange ever were still able to have a massive bull run back in 2021. You know, a lot of other cryptos out there have never even been listed on Robinhood in the past and they've done just fine. And I think ADA will be no different moving forward. I think what's going on with ADA right now is largely overblown. I personally believe that ADA will still do amazing during the next bull run. I think that ADA has unbelievable potential. And and if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video and I think you all would really love it.